city, nice weather, almost summer and this 4.4 with Ramap X5 E53 pre facelift guys let's go for a city POV driving this is the key let's go nice leather interior with a world of options here for the seats memory and some adjustments that little thing is making a nice adjustments to the seat and we have it all adjusted let's go and drive guys the car has a rim up it's 309 horsepower currently on the dyno and that's on the engine it has 4.6 cams and intake that's the mod list I'm driving a little not so comfortable but I want you to see better so I barely touch the wheel so this is city drive guys we leave here the hood and hit the streets putting on sport mode the gearbox now close this window in order to be more quiet here some uh, noise from here from the steering it's an old car after all This one has pretty much nice extras like a uh, hill control and some seat heating on the back too, DSC and Parktronic. We are missing some stuff here, <laughs> but it's not much that is missing. Multi wheel cruise control, and we got this. This is ugly, it's not expensive to fix, but I don't know. We have a control of the steering wheel where we want to be although it's a heavy thing 0 to 60 is really no no issue really calmly and easy to get there and nice response here at 80 kilometers I like uh, sport mode, yes it revs more, but uh, on the downhills, on the traffic wise, you stop really really better Because the gearbox is always on some shift, helping you out to stop car has no catalyzator left no cuts and it has its rear exhaust so it's not very noisy on low rpm it's it's okay people say removing uh, the stock cuts from old v8s is good I, I mean not for the environment but for the engine because if it's clogged it, it can damage the engine yeah you see immediate response on the kick downs ok guys kick down now come on V8 It is showing really a nice power. We can use 
Genius manual mode too, I like it very much on these auto gearboxes. I'm really missing the manual. Imagine X5 4.8 with remap and some goodies and manual. That would be good. Of course, this car is made for a waxing drive, for a heavy drive, not for a teenager drive like this. But I'll show you different drives after all. I don't want you to be bored by this video just driving like this. So boring. Nothing is happening actually. Yeah, it's really boring guys, right? Let's put the sport. Whoa, some heat. I feel some heat when I touch the pedal from the transmission. I don't think that's normal. But old car guys, you cannot fix everything. Why this guy is driving so slow? You see this this Sandero? He he went crazy. Come on Ford! I feel a little knocking noise like a mild diesel working. But that's the bonus is knocking. But they work. They knock but they work. Come on guys. Come on. This idiot which was driving super slow went on red whites. So why he is driving slow and at the same time going on red lights? That's stupid. Guys, tell me, have you feel many times that you want just to drive and this, this traffic is preventing you from driving? You just have to roll. It's so annoying. What a beautiful view here, guys. Look at it. It's the Black Sea. This is the Black Sea, which is actually blue sea now. And in the summer is green sea. Guys, now I'm going to the test track where I test drive all BMWs and cars. Yeah, because I divide cars by BMW and other cars. <laughs> okay, and we'll test this big wheel. So make sure you subscribe to see the next video. I hope you enjoy seeing that big thing moving on the straights and curve corners. We'll see how balanced is this thing and how bad is on the corners or good, I don't know. But taking in fact its size, I wouldn't bet much. Okay. Second gear here. First corner. Well, I have very body roll, of course, but I'm not using 21 inch tires. Maybe if using bigger tires would be better and wider at the back. These are just winter tires. Let's see that corner, guys. It's very interesting corner. 100 kilometers, and I feel the body roll. Leaning, the car is leaning on the right. here but overall after all this is an SUV which is not pretending to be a sport car just proper SUV and actually it's doing its job on the corners yeah it's leaning but not much I'm sure if I take Land Rover or some other stuff which look like a box it will be much much worse than that this 
after all it's a BMW tuned car and it's IS suspension it's not with the standard response you see nice grunge from the V8 full throttle on this Sport Coupe, let's not get out with that house on the left lane, which will be bad. Full throttle, with even downshifted for me. On the downhills, it's really, really good <laughs> because the weight is helping actually to rev the engine. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. But when you have to stop, it's it's somehow you're killing the the brakes, feeling so heavy to stop. That's why I'm using manual mode at least to have some engine stop. So with a proper set of sports tires, 21 inch summer tires, it will handle good. But you will never get a car. Performance on the corners, of course. But after all, it's an all-rounder. Okay guys, that was my so so city driving of this X5 309 horsepower 4.4 286 horsepower with their map and some goodies from 4.6 originally the whole coupe and cluster as you see the suspension and all everything outside is a 4.6 only the block is 4.4 now due to favor of the original block. I hope you enjoyed driving this video. I'm going out to my track. To test out how is this big car on a curvy road so make sure to subscribe put the notification on and see you in the next video bye guys